Here we go then into the final session of the opening day of the 2019 Nur Sultan World Para Powerlifting Championships. The Junior World Championships today, lots happening here. We've got four men's weights to be decided. And we're starting with the B categories. The B lifters, the A lifters to come a little bit later. We've got five in the B division, lifting. Potential of getting into the medals, depending how things happen above them. We've got six to follow in the A group. So now, first to come, uh, attempt at 90 kilos from Saudi Arabia, Tarek Balgif. Going for 90 here in the 72 kilo weight division. There's four lifting in total. Balgif. Asian Youth Games bronze medalist two years ago and finished 14th in the Asia Oceania Championships, coached by Al Alyami. So, to get us underway at 90, he's got potential here. Yeah. If he's clear, and he is. That's a great lift, a good lift. Three out of three. All the referees satisfied with what they've seen. And so, he is our first on the board at 90, Balgan, the 72 kilo category. Uh, the referees for this are Conrado Brenacci of Brazil, Ahmed Alhamadi of the United Arab Emirates, and Gideon Griffiths of Great Britain. So that's 90 cleared by Balgith, and coming up now for 112, Vinicius de Freitas of Brazil, first major championship, competed overseas for the first time in the Faso World Cup in Dubai back in February. He finished 12th, but he still rates that as his proudest moment. He turns 20 in a couple of weeks' time, so the junior scene rounds up from here. Seventh in the seniors in the Brazilian championship earlier this year, and he's Originally from Uberlandia, which is handy because the national base is there. That's a split call, but it's gone his way. 105 for Vinicius de Freitas in the 80 kilo event. Originally it was perched at 110, then 112, but 105 finally, and he's got that two to one in his favor. Thank you. 
So next to go then, as we jump back to the 72 kilo weight division, Haider El Bahadili of Iraq. He's going for 112 here. 19 years old, and again, is actually he's 18 years old. He turns 19. Week after next. Asian Youth Games champion from two years ago. That's his first global championship. In fact, a lot of the reigning Asian Youth Games champions are the right age to be in this. So as a result, we have quite a lot of the reigning Asian Youth Games champions here. Going for 112. It'll be a split call. One for him, two against. One of which was for bar control from our uh, center referee, the head referee. The other was for the chess sequence from one of the side referees watching on from the diagonal angle, as you'll see on the left and the right. Say he wasn't very far off, but well, far enough off not to be given it. So next to come then for Mexico, Juan Ramirez, 115, again in 80 kilos, where we've seen Vinicius de Freitas clear 105. So Ramirez then, 115 for Mexico, first major championship. He won bronze in Mexican championships this year at senior level. Lives in Zapopan, his club is Jalisco State. Well, he pushed through well. Did he push through cleanly? He didn't. They've Ooh. all gone against him, actually, in terms of the chess sequence. We'll study that one again. No luck. That's one one five for Ramirez. As the public's been told that now. It's down to the chess sequence. Maybe there was no stop. Maybe there was a bounce. Let's see. Next to go then as we jump back to 72 kg, the first attempt for Uzbekistan and Sultan Boy May Yakubov, his first major championship. 18 years old. Didn't waste any time. First time we've seen him in a major event, and it's a clean bill of health. 120, he is our leader in the 72 kilo weight division. So 
really good effort at 120. Now in this weight category, there are only four. So that is, at the moment, the gold medal position. And at worst, a silver medal. He might win the gold from here. So now into the second round, we see the five again, and it's Tarek Balgith who got 90 in the opening round in the 72 kg. Going for 100 here, at worst he'll finish fourth, but if El Bahadli keeps continuing with problems, he might be on his way to bronze. Maybe, maybe better if he can really leap up with a final attempt, but he has to get this first. Attempting 100, having got 90 first time around. Well, he pushed through well. However, 2 1 against our center referee. Penalized on the chest and the press sequence. One of our side referees for the body sequence and the bar control. So between those two referees, they've called him up on everything. But from one angle, everything looked right. So Balgit has to work out with his coaching team just what went wrong as Bel Hadili, who missed out on 112 in the previous round, is going for 112 against here. The Asian Youth Games champion turns 19 years old in 11 days time. He pushed through strongly, and that will be fine. He got that one absolutely right. All three referees in his favour. Good lift. So 112 puts him into the silver medal position for now. And if he can stay there, at worst, it'll be bronze. So now, Juan Ramirez in Mexico, missed out 115 first time around, going for 115 again now.
115 missed by Ramirez last time, and all three went against. It was right across the board too, wasn't it? In terms of what went wrong. So, still got a minute. Has he got that one cleaned up? It's looking good. 2-1 in his favour. So Ramirez gets the nod. That's what he wanted to do first time. So Ramirez in the 80 kilo weight division takes the lead ahead of De Freitas. There's only one more that we're going to see in Group A. So there are Two medals up for grabs, and at the moment, these two have got weights on the board. De Freitas in the silver medal position for 105, Ramirez 115. And De Freitas goes now to try and jump back into the lead at 116. Sixteen for De Freitas. He's already scored major success domestically. Well, that's a bit of a mixed bag of a lift. Two one against. Uh, for one of our side referees, it was the press sequence only. But for the other side referee, it was the bar control and the chess sequence. So he's missed out, De Freitas. Scored 105, missed out 116. Two one against. Next to go then, final attempt of the second round, Sultan Boy Mathieu Bakov, 72 kilo weight division. And at worst, silver for now, might have already put in a lift that could earn him the gold. Still have a bit to go. So, 125, and that is absolutely nailed on. Perfect. Good work by the man from Uzbekistan. Three out of three, just as it was in the first round. Donato Teleska, the reigning junior world champion, is in this group also. We'll see what he can produce in Group A, but for now, Matthew Bakov is in the lead on one, two, five, and prospects of going higher.
So Balgith going again at 100, having missed it in the previous round, and he scored 90 in round one. For Saudi Arabia, bronze in the Asian Youth Games two years ago. in Dubai. Balgith for 100. So he needed to brush up on what was done last time and he hasn't and it's all three against. Two of those three saying it was the chess sequence that did it. So we go back to the 80 kilo weight division, the heavier of the two that we're seeing at the moment. So Vinicius de Freitas, very successful at 105 in the opening round, missed out at 116 and was marked down by the various referees on pretty much every element of the four. So he's going for 116 again. This put him into the gold medal position for now. The three overall in this, and we're seeing two of the lifters in this group B. Leading at 115 is Juan Ramirez of Mexico. Juan Antonio Ramirez. Vinicius de Freitas going again at 116. first major championship. Has he got that one right? He has two out of the three in his favor with the other referee. Not happy with the chess sequence, but he's okay. 116 puts him into the gold medal position again. So Juan Antonio Ramirez now going at 116. In terms of body weight, he's almost a kilo lighter than De Freitas, so can go for 116, the same mark as the Brazilian, and beat him the head-to-head. So going for 116 then, Ramirez to go into the gold medal position with only one lifter to go in Group A. Right now he's in the silver medal mark. And because there are uh, three in this, then it would be only gold and silver that would be awarded.
So 116. This to go into the gold medal position. And he has not been given it. It is 2-1 against. So he stays on 115. And that is the silver medal position for him for the moment. That's the 80 kilo weight division done for now as we move on. 72 kilos, two more lifters to go in this group B. And aiming for 121 kilos here is Al Bahadili of Iraq. Third attempt, needed two to get 112 in the second round. Reigning Asian Youth Games champion from two years ago in Dubai. This is his first global event. moment he's a little bit absent don't worry our finest people will track him down Haider Al Bahadili eighteen years old and Iraq were actually one of the teams that were uh, heavily affected by the last World Championships being moved from September to December. At relatively late notice because of the earthquake that affected a lot of Mexico, including Mexico City. Hundred and twenty one being his target. He's currently in the silver medal position. So he will get a medal no matter what, because there's only one lifter to go in the A group that's coming up a little later, but it is Donato Telesca, who's the reigning junior world champion and junior world record holder. And overall uh, terrific competitor, and he broke his junior world record again earlier this year. But we'll tell you more about that when he's on stage. At the moment, we have a bit of a stop, as you can tell, because Ada El Hadili is somewhere in the bowels of this very impressive Astana Congress Center. Is seems to still be officially known as, and you still see the the old name with the capital uh, still regularly being used across a lot of different hotels and companies here. renaming to Nur Sultan happening uh, back in March. Scotland were playing here actually in a Euro 2020 qualifier away to Kazakhstan and Kazakhstan absolutely romped to victory. It's just about football, the only sport where Kazakhstan are in First, Europe. Everything else, it is Asia, including uh, the Asian Games, and the Asian Para Games and powerlifting too. So, the clock has begun. We can now count down the two minutes to Haider El Fahadili's attempt. I don't think it was down to him. Man from Iraq is on his way.
121. This wouldn't see him go into the gold medal position, but he would improve by nine kilos, except he won't because all three have gone against. Ooh. And two of the three saying it was down to the press sequence on one of the side referees saying it was the chest. But he stays where it is in terms of the overall position. He will have a medal. It will be at worst bronze. He's currently in the silver medal position. Sultan boy Jakubov of Uzbekistan to round off then with 130. Having cleared 120 and 125 with his first two attempts. The 18 year old excelling himself in his first major championship. This for 130. Lamentable amount of effort put into it and he has not got it to against. Other one four. So he rounds off with 125. So we go now into Group A. And this is where it gets, in terms of following the overall competition, a little bit more complicated because we're going into four groups now. And three of them, we're only seeing one lifter. So next up for Poland, Victor Kedzia. 115 in the opening rounds is his target. Reigning European junior champion. And three out of three for him. That's a terrific lift. He's wheeled on to some prime Polish pop. And he wheels away with the lead in the 107 kilo final. There's three in it, they are all in this A group. We'll see the other two shortly. Matsuzaki of Japan, Al Jaber of Iraq. But now we go back to 80 kg. There's only one lifter in group A in this weight division. Athanasios Magenus of Greece. The reigning European junior champion finished seventh of the senior in Prague Samaria at the Europeans last year, coached by Dimitrios Yanidis.
So, 120. And that's great. Everything about it. Originally was looking at 127, but not seven off it. And it was the right decision. And Vigenis with 120, impressively. It's up against De Freitas and Juan Antonio Ramirez. That puts him into the gold medal position. He's got the victory. He is the junior world champion. So now 88 kilos and there's just one man in it. It is the Asian Youth Games champion, Abdullah El Kabi of Iraq. And he's aiming for 130 here. The Asian junior record is 137. Alkabi, 16 years old, his first global championship after the Asian Youth Games success in Dubai. This is the first time we've seen him on a stage like this. Has he done it? He has, two to one in his favor. El Kabi, that should be the gold. He's in a division of his own. He had to aim high and that should be high enough. Success for Iraq has been a very, very long day. Six and a half hours of action already and we're not done yet. Heading towards 9 p.m. in Nur Sultan on a Friday night. Hundred and forty seven the target then for Yasuharu Matsuaki, world junior champion. from two years ago in Mexico City. Bronze in the Asian Youth Games behind Al Jaber, who we're gonna see next, and El Kabi. They were all in the same weight division back then. So Matsusaki, 147 to go into the gold medal position. That looked a bit ragged and it's gonna be 2-1 against. And of the two against, three of the four categories, bar and chess sequence from our uh, center referee. The other one wasn't happy with the press sequence. So there's quite a bit to take out of that. But it was still only two and against. Right then, 
Hussein Al Jaber. Silver in Dubai in those Asian Youth Power Games from a couple of years ago. First global championship, so we didn't see him in the Asia Oceania Championships in Katakushi back in September. Or in anything else, really. Hundred and fifty is his target. That's to put him into the gold medal position ahead of Ketsia. Ketsia leading. Matsusaki unable to register yet. Al Jaber giving himself a lot of time. Still only nineteen. Iraq didn't have uh, junior athletes at the last Worlds in Mexico City. The rearranged ones. This one though, has a bit of work to do. All three against, two for the chess sequence, other for the press sequence. Three red lights across the board for Al Jaber. For somebody so young, he was immensely calm as he took a, his time over it, which at this level, at this age, you don't actually get a lot of. And there's a lot to be admired with that. But he didn't get the lift, so a bit more composure needed next time for Al Jaber. At the moment, he's going to go for 150 once more. Won't need anything else to go and take the lead as we go into the highest attempt of this opening round and essentially this is a gold medal lift for Donato Teleska. Seventy-one for Teleska. He won gold with a junior world record two years ago. 179 is his world junior record, which he improved on in Eger back in April. The Eger World Cup. So, La Mia Sita it is. Donato Teleska. Went in too high at the Europeans of Berk Sumer. Didn't register a mark. Bounced back with junior gold in the Asia Oceania Open Championships in Kitagishu in September. see 2-1 against he went into that with a lot of confidence center referee happy side referees press sequence for one chess sequence for the other and Teleska has got a bit of work to do next time around So now into round two. Victor Kedzia of Poland, 127, having cleared 115 in the previous round. He's our leader. Matsuzaki and Al Jaber have both missed out so far with their first round attempts. He's going up to 127, and to be honest with you, 
Matsusaki's miss was 20 kilos heavier than this. Al Jaber's 23. So if he gets gold, realistically, it is not up to him and not up to this lift. Unless this is a nice stepping stone to 150. But hey, 127 into Kensia, the European Junior Champion. All three going against. Two for the chest sequence. Other for the bar control. You can obviously mark down for more than one of the four different components that the referees are looking to be done cleanly. So no joy. Katsia missing out at 127 for Poland. club and national level by Marius Oiva. In terms of coaching, Athanasius Vaganus of Greece. Shoulders are primed, how's he? The reigning European junior champion from Berksemeer last year. Technical stop at the moment, by the way. And this would be an attempt at a new European junior record. can get this, it boosts his gold medal win. It's already in the bag. He's overtaken Juan Antonio Ramirez of Mexico and Vinicius de Freitas of Brazil. De Freitas with the silver, Ramirez finishing third. Gainus four kilos clear of the silver medal mark of de Freitas. Did that wipe them out with his very first attempt? So 130 the target here. And this an attempt. The European junior record has suddenly come off our screens. It's a record for something uh, significant. European record is in this the same as the world junior record, 161. Julien Avon Vume in Ego four years ago. We've seen him quite a bit since. Well, 130, that looks nice. And it surely is. This fine lift by the Greek. He is our gold medalist in this weight division and his margin of victory has just leapt by an extra 10 kilos Just, just representing Iraq, Abdullah Al-Kabi. 
So now we jump to the 88 kilo weight division. Abdullah Al Kabi has already got the gold for what we can see the Asian Youth Games champion, the 16 year old in his first global competition. Cleared 130, now going for 140. This looking to break the record set five years ago in Incheon at the Asian Para Games of Yegor Bollinger of Kazakhstan. That was 137, this is 140. For El Kabi for uh, an Asian junior record. well watched by the referees and they have all said no and all for different things all four of the categories the body sequence the bar control the chest sequence the press sequence he was marked down in all of them three out of three last time remember not out of three this time so El Kabi misses out on the Asian junior record but it's, we'll be coming back at that mark at the very least so the next two lifters will be at uh, the heaviest weight category of all. It's like we say, the athletes of short stature, they're having a, it looks like they're having a more intricate look than before. Not to say they weren't previously, but even more so now. Yasaharu Matsuzaki of Japan in the over 107 kilo category, the heaviest weight division. No mark for him yet, no mark for Hussein Al Jaber. Victor Kedzi is our leader for Poland with 115. Matsuzaki aiming for 150 here, having missed out at 147 last time. Interesting. No, that, uh, that came off the rack, so that's not going to count. So, all three going against and uh, a spread of sins with that lift by Matazaki. So, he is in danger of being wiped out here. He's had two attempts at 147 and 150, and he hasn't got either yet. So, Victor Ketsi is in a good position at the moment. The European Junior Champion from Berg Sumer last year from the start of Rotswab Club. That's a great sporting city in its own rights. That was just flying backwards and then, yeah, just clipped the metal work, so he was never going to get given that. So Hussein Al Jaber now missed at 150 and it was all three against going for 155 here. Masaki went for 150. Al Jaber in terms of weight is 10 kilos lighter, so again could have gone for 150. And even if Matsuzaki had got his, Al Jaber would have only needed 150 to have taken the lead in the head to head. Any successful lift from now on in this competition? Obviously, and Victor Kedzia is knocked out of the gold medal position.
It's a 155 for Al Jiver. This for the lead and for what may well be the gold medal. However, all three have gone against, and it was the final elements that did for him the press sequence. Our uh, centre referee had uh, voted him down in the chest, but the other two were okay with that. It's what happened afterwards that they weren't happy with the two side referees. So from the angle, the press looked wrong. If you're watching it straight on from behind, which is where Conrado Branacci of Brazil is, looked fine. Presumably, from this angle, it'd look right too. So, Donato Telesca. One seven one. He missed in the last round. Going for one seven one again. Great campaigner. It's been a fantastic junior. Clocks off as a junior here. Should see him in the senior competition also. See if you can pull it off at 171. The uh, senior entry list uh, finalized today. We'll have to have a check as to whether he'll be in it. He ought to be anyway. Now, will he be in the medals here? That was better. That was much better. And Talaska leaps above the rest into the gold medal position. And he is the world junior champion again. That was 171, his junior world record, 179 from April. And that is surely the next target for him. Teleska got that one spot on. It was 2-1 uh, in his favor. The one against doesn't matter anymore. That was a marvelous finish. So then, Victor Kedzia cleared 115 at the opening round. Missed 127 last time, going for 130 here. Target. Quite a target. No. He's missed it. Was going for a new junior European record there and he hasn't got it. They've all gone against and for various reasons. But at the moment he is in the gold medal position. So the final round continues. Here is our champion.
up to 80 kg, Athanasius Fugenis of Greece. So 140 then, he's cleared 120 and 130 so far. This 4-1-4-0. Four, it's not going to go his way. It's 2-1 against and the two against for the final press sequence. So we jump back to 88 kilos. And here's our champion, having uh, cleared 130 in the opening round. Uh, Abdullah al Kabi of Iraq missed 140. Going for 142, which would be an Asian junior record once more. 137 the mark. And comparatively quite old, actually. From Yeko Polinger of. Kazakhstan. Kabi going for 142, aiming for a new junior Asian record. It's not going to go his way, it's 2 1 against. Centre referee happy, everything was okay, but uh, for both side referees, it was the uh, chess sequence. So he is denied. So far we have not seen a successful lift in this final round. No discernible stop, I would imagine. Yaharu Matsuzaki has had misses at 147 and 150 so far. This for 150 for the world junior champion to claim gold again. got that one raised and it was straighter than the last one but they're all going to vote him down and that was due to both the the chess sequence and the press sequence and the way up
So he is wiped out and Kenzia for Poland will get at least a silver. And it might be even better. Only one man now can prevent Ketsia from getting the gold, and it was the very first lift of the competition, and every lift since then, right across the board, has been missed. Eight lifts up to this point, one success. Five five for Algebra. He's missed 150 and 155 so far in this to avoid the same fate as Matsuzaki, who has been wiped out and who has not registered a mark. One five five. This for the gold for Iraq. That looks his best attempt. He's got the gold! He's got the gold for Iraq, Hussein al -Jabir, The world champion, 2-1 in his favor. And that was a superb lift. An absolute beauty. Victor Kedzia falls to the silver medal position for Poland. Sensational, overcome, and with good reason. Al Jaber, the Asian Youth Games silver medalist previously, is now the world junior champion. A fine lift. This for a new junior world record. He set the mark himself at the Ego World Cup in April. It's already won gold in the 72 kilo weight division. Silver in the senior in Eger in that World Cup is what he got for that lift, but obviously won the junior golds. For Teleska, for his heaviest lift in competition, for a new junior world record, but he was struggling with that all along. All three have gone against him. But he is the junior world champion anyway, for a second time. 171 is best. So our champions then. Donato Teleska at 72 kg for Italy. Athanasios Vigenis of Greece at 80 kilos. Abdullah Al-Kabi of Iraq at 130. 
and an over 107. Nothing for up to 107 entered. A goal for Hussein Al Jaber of Iraq. He lifted 155. Telesco with the heaviest lift of the entire junior competition with 171. But he could not surpass his own junior world record. So, the victory ceremonies, quite a few of them to come shortly. Stay with us.
Lee, the World Para Powerlifting Technical and Competition Manager, and Dylan Richardson, the World Para Powerlifting Development Manager. So, bronze then for Iraq and Haider El Bahadali. Sam Monkley, World Power Powerlifting Technical Competition Manager. Dylan Richardson, World Power Powerlifting Development Manager with the prizes. El Bahadali in the end. Uh, Lifting 112 for Rack. What a brilliant major championship debut for Sultan Boy Matyakubov of Uzbekistan. 120 and 125 he's cleared. Looking very good in Group B. But then the best lifter in the world came along in Group A and absolutely obliterated those marks. Donato Telesco of Italy wins his second junior world title. 2017 in Mexico City, 2019 in Nur Sultan. And the senior ranks are waiting him now. He can't wait, I'm sure. Went for a new junior world record to break his mark, which is only about three, four months old anyway. Super win for Telesca, and here's the Italian anthem. Hey! Gold for Italy. And Donato Telesca, and he gave the opportunity of a world record going for 180. A really, really good try, but missed out on that in the end.
So now the men's 80 kilo medal ceremony. And again, we've got a full run of gold, silver and bronze available here. So Juan Antonio Ramirez of Mexico picks up the bronze medal here. He cleared 115 and it put him in decent stead. He was lifting in Group B. He needed a couple of attempts at it. His third and final attempt was 117 and he wasn't successful. And if he had done it, he would be getting one medal higher up. So now, coming up, the silver medal by only a kilo, Vinicius de Freitas of Brazil. It's a fabulous achievement for De Freitas when you consider this was his first major global championship. He finished seventh in the Brazilian championships. He is a junior world championship silver medalist behind an absolutely terrific competitor. European junior champion is now world junior champion too from Greece, Athanasius Vigenus. 130 he lifted. Two successful attempts at 120 and 130. Had a go at 140, which would have been really something, but denied. So gold then for Greece. Athanasius Vigenis is the junior world champion. So, Greek gold. Athanasius Vigenis of Greece. Absolutely belting win. Terrific performer. That was all told. Superb competition. There were 11 in total across the different weight divisions in this session. So, they like to keep it a maximum of 10 per group. So, as a result, it was split into two. Way 
they spin. So on we go with two final victory ceremonies, which will be a bit shorter, particularly this one, the men's 88 kilo event, as there was uh, just one entrant in it. And in that situation, as a lot of you all know, there has to be, well, first of all, a successful mark made, but it also has to be above a particular level. And that was very much the case for our champion here, the Asian Youth Games champion from 2017, and only 16 years old still. The winner of the gold medal at Junior World Champion, Abdullah al Kabi of Iraq gets the win. He cleared 130 kilos in this. And that was his first attempt. Went for a new Junior Asian record twice over, which is currently, it has been for the last five years, in Kazakhstan hands, the resounding host for us here over the next 10 days. Across the solo day of uh, Junior World Championships and then the nine subsequent days that we will see of the seniors. So superb for Iraq and our junior world champion is Abdullah al -Kabi. Gold for Iraq for Abdullah Al Kabi. He did very, very well. So one more uh, victory ceremony to follow. And then that's the end of the 2019 Junior World Para Powerlifting Championships. And we're then into the seniors from tomorrow. And it is for over 107 kilos. Two medalists in this. We had three starters. As it happened, it wasn't even a case of 
unlucky. Whoever came third, as there was no mark registered by uh, Yasuharu Matsuzaki, the outgoing world junior champion from two years ago. The European junior champion was on the brink of being world junior champion. Final lift knocked him off top spot. Victor Kedzia of Poland receives the silver medal. Sam Monkley and Dylan Richardson of World Power Powerlifting again. They're the technical and competition manager and development manager, respectively. But our world champion is Hussein Al Jaber of Iraq. They've taken another gold here. Asian youth silver medalist. From two years ago. And they've taken two gold medals in the men's competition then in these junior world Power powerlifting championships of 2019. We've just heard the anthem a few moments ago, but another, another man, here it is again. Excellently done. So in terms of the men then, two goals for Iraq, two for Brazil, one each for Ukraine, Malaysia, Italy and Greece. In terms of the women, we've had goals today for Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Turkey, Egypt and Mexico. Fabulous time. That's it then from the 2019 Junior World Power Powerlifting Championships here in Nur Sultan and we've nine days of the Senior World Championships to follow. Have fun, talk to you tomorrow.